Hello, hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you are fine. Okay, I want to do a dish, a gravy dish. Uh, it's called radish with carrot sambar. Okay, radish is called uh, mulenge in Tamil. Okay, so I tell you the ingredient first. First of all, I need the two dal. Okay, two dal is called uh, tuvaram parappu. I take around half cup of tuvaram parappu, two dal. And then I take the mung dal. Mung dal is uh, around one four cup of mung dal. Okay, these two um, lentils. You have to mix with it, mix with the water and soak with the water around 30 minutes. And then I need some ingredients which is okay this ingredients okay first of all I need uh, one onion cut it pieces like this some curry leaves uh, garlic cloves you take around 8 to 10 garlic cloves one dry chili cut it like this one green chili cut it like this and one tomato and then I need um, the vegetables. Okay. Okay, this one is called radish. It's called mulengi. Okay. Take one mulengi and cut it like this. Radish. And one small carrot. Cut it like this. Okay, then after that, I need some spices, which is two spices I need. This one is called ura dal. Ura dal, I take around half teaspoon of ura dal, half teaspoon of mustard seeds. And then I need ghee. Okay, ghee, I take around four to five tablespoon of ghee. And then I need a pinch of salt. Okay, this one some powders so what powder is i take three powders turmeric powder half teaspoon of turmeric powder half teaspoon of uh, chili powder half teaspoon of coriander powder and then i need this okay this one is esophotida okay take around a piece of esophotida small pieces of esophotida and this one is a uh, jaggery take around uh, one teaspoon or one and a half teaspoon of jaggery it's called vellum and then i need coriander leaves some coriander leaves and then i need a cup of water and half cup of tamarind water okay that's all okay okay you soak uh, these two with the water right so with the water around 30 minutes okay so it will be after soak you take it out you wash and then you cook with the water with the water with the esophotida okay it's look like this okay you cook all the purpose with the water and cook like this with esophotida okay now we start the dish okay okay now we start the dish okay first of all I need some water you put the water around two cup of water inside the pan okay after boil uh, after the water boil we put the, all the vegetables inside it okay it's boiling okay now we add the vegetables okay add this vegetable the radish and the carrot to the boiling water
then we add the the tomato the green chili and the garlic cloves boil for a while around five minutes okay it's boiling okay now you can add the powders inside it so all the three powders turmeric powder chili powder and the coriander powder Then you can add the tamarind water inside it. Mix it. Okay, leave it around um, 10 minutes more. Let it the vegetables all cooked. Okay. You see, not cooked yet. Okay, you can put some water inside it. Okay, put some water. Okay, let them cook until it cooked. Around uh, five minutes more. Okay, I will check and see whether it's cooked or not. Okay, it's a, it's a cook already. Okay, now you can put the the purple inside the the vegetables put all the purple inside the vegetable and let them boil until uh, five minutes more okay mix it now you can add the salt inside it. Add the salt, pinch of salt. Okay, and the vellum, the jaggery inside it. Okay, mix it well. Okay. Leave it around five minutes more, and then you can transfer to the another pan. Okay, so cook it already. Okay, so you can transfer this to this uh, to this pan. Okay. Okay, I transfer the gravy inside the uh, the other pan. So now we want to put some ingredients to the pan. So we on the fire. And then we want to put the okay. Okay, now put the key inside it for the pan. Okay. Now uh, I want to put the all the spices, the uradar and the mustard seeds inside the key. Put the onions, onions, the curry leaves, and the dry chili. Add it. Okay, now we mix it. Okay, let it be. Provide. Okay. Now you transfer all these ingredients 
to that gravy. Transfer to it. Mix it. Okay. <clears throat> now you add the coriander leaves inside it. Then you mix it well. Leave it around one minute and then you can take it off. Okay. Okay, spoiling. So you can see I mix it. You can see all this cook already. Okay. The radish with carrot sambar is ready. You can off the fire. You see? So very uh, delicious and healthy too. You try it at home. Okay, please see the description of this video for full recipe details. And thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe this video. Thank you. And I see you then in other dish. Bye bye. See you then.